Get ready to start paying even more for just about everything. A shipping crisis in the Red Sea is causing some huge delays getting imports into the country. And it has us staring down more cost of living pain and an even longer fight with inflation. Bare shelves and empty boxes. The woes of this warehouse are clear. We were meant to have a container delivery yesterday and it hasn't turned up. But a lack of stock isn't the only concern. The invoices I've paid this week, it's double the cost. The shipments are stuck overseas as ongoing hostilities in the Red Sea disrupt key shipping routes. It'll be good if uh, the Iranian-funded Houthi terrorists would pull their head in. Ordinarily, it would take about four weeks to travel from European ports to shipment hubs like Singapore via the Suez Canal. Now, a majority are opting for a safer but longer six-week journey around the Cape of Good Hope. Once there, a bottleneck is causing a further the four-week delay. It does have an effect on shipping around the world. Also adding to congestion is a rush of shipments from China to the US ahead of tough new tariffs expected if Donald Trump is elected. Surcharges have been introduced and those costs are, are cascading through the supply chain. Australia imports $38 billion worth of goods each month, so everything from cars to furniture and luxury goods are affected. So there will be some flow-on effect. My view would be that it should be relatively modest. That's because, unlike during the pandemic, demand isn't as high. So it's going to be very, very hard for Australian retailers to pass the, the cost increases on because consumers are already cutting back. Even if price hikes are modest, it still risks inflation remaining higher for longer. Bad news for interest rates is this crisis is predicted to last another six months. Our priority has been putting that downward pressure on inflation. Easier said than done. Lucy Gray for 10 News First.